What is up guys, welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the iPhone 13 Pro Max and today we're back with the case from Spec. This is going to be the Candy Shell Pro Series to unbox, do a quick review. You know I'll throw up the link in the video description if you want to check it out. Pricing is all over the place on this one. I'll throw up the link from Amazon. I think I got it for under 20 bucks though. So we'll, we'll check it out to see if it's a hit or miss. Presentation looks good. You got a little spec branding on the side. Candy Shell Pro. I did notice it's only 8 foot drop protection, which I would expect it more for this particular case just because I've had these cases in the past and I expected it to be a little more drop protection than that. I'm not sure what goes into saying, okay, this is an 8 foot drop protection versus 12, but I would expect it to at least be in line with some of the Tech 21 stuff that's out there. It's got 12 foot drop protection. Presentation looks good though. Got a little tab up top. All right, I should say down at the bottom. Easy access with no struggles or stress for the unboxing. Makes my life easy. First things first, you got a little spec branding at the very bottom logo right there. Nice camera protection. It's got this soft matte black finish to it. One thing I'm not a fan of though, it's a nice touch, but I'm a little bit leery that it will be a fingerprint magnet. And then also there's not a lot of grip, so it's very slippery. And that may wear a little bit. It's kind of a hard shell plastic that's get this coating on top of it. So that's kind of how you get to this material. It does have a nice premium build quality to it. So I'll give them that. You got a little spec branding at the very bottom, or I'm sorry, in the middle right there near the MagSafe friendly. You can see just a nice cool little bit of logo. Interior, you got a full edge edge protection. It's got a soft rubber type coating on the interior. So I got no problem with that protection. So let's go and take out the 13 Pro Max, the big boy. The big boy, uh, the biggest of the big boys. Slap it right into place like that. I don't think I have a microfiber cloth around. I failed you guys. I apologize. So, and then we can pretend. We can pretend to wipe it down, wipe it down. <laughs> I think it fell on the floor. Oh, well. We're going to roll with it. That's a bum boxing fail by me. So, I appreciate you guys <laughs> falling around. Uh, that black on black looks very good, though. You can see the camera. And then the actual with the black spec just looks very clean and classy. Doesn't look the, like the sexiest looking case in the world, but I don't have a problem with it. And again, I'm just kind of a leery. I'm wondering if that material will get fingerprinted up. May not. May have a coating on top of it, but not a lot of grip. And it's a big phone, so I'd like to see a little bit more grip around the edges. Camera protection looks great, though. You can see the camera protection with the, all around the bumper. They did a great job with the camera protection, edge to edge protection there. So nicely done. Let's go and check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lip zip. Hmm. Yeah, it's good lip protection. Look at that lip protection. Full edge to edge. Very nice lip protection. You drop it. Impact. Good to go. So that's why I'm a little bit surprised that they say 8-foot drop protection when you got full edge to edge protection and it curves up a little bit. Look at that. It does like this. That's actually really, really nice when you got a screen protector. It's lifting it up. So you got a full, like a little gap right there for it to drop and you got enough, a little bit of gap for it to actual, you see that right there? How it's created a little bit of barrier between the actual phone itself and then the actual screen. So that's just a nice little added touch. Alert slider, easy access. Buttons, they're clicky enough. They're the same material. They did a decent enough prop with the buttons and I have a problem with them. Speakers look good. Power looks good as well. And then the power on the side feels clicky and responsive. Just a nice case. Really like this case. I got no problems with it. Again, I wish it was a little more, more grip. Um, but overall, it's giving you some really good drop protection. Let's go and check out the MagSafe. I'll slap it in like that. Boom. Nice mag. It's nice, <laughs> nice mag. <laughs> nice magnet there. And it perfect. So this is good to go. So I'll say, yeah, it's it's definitely if you can get it for under 20 bucks. And then it puts you in the uh, speaking category. So, like, if you can get this for under 20 bucks, MagSafe Edition, nice protection. I'd say, yeah, go and check it out. But I would be a little bit leery about the, some of the, the slipperiness of it. But overall, anybody looking for a decent case that likes spec, MagSafe Edition, I'd say this is a hit. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? I'm going to call it a hit. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.